Hi, it's Irix Klaassen again from standing in front of our new car. I tweeted about it, I really love it, I love the color. That's not why we chose it, but I love the color. So I don't have a driver's license, I'm gonna learn to drive a car with this beauty here. And that's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna actually start off with go-kart next weekend, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm actually gonna do go-kart next weekend, but I'm gonna learn to drive a car, I'm gonna learn to drive this one. But that's not why we are recording today, although that probably would be very interesting and very fun as well. It's time for me to answer another question. And the, the question I want to answer today, because I want to have a really short video, I'm just about to hit the gym over there. Uh, the question I'm going to answer today is in regards to to blog or not to blog. So uh, this guy uh, asked me, he was at the job interview and he was asked if he had a blog and he replied no because he doesn't and he's also a new developer uh, and that's why he doesn't have a blog. And the question, there were two questions, one, uh, should I have a blog and two, should can new developers have a blog because maybe we don't have so much to write about. And I'll answer the, the second question first. I think being a junior developer or a newbie developer, I'm not sure how to word it but if you're a new developer you have a lot to blog about you can share about your journey your experience and it's really cool for me to look back and see all the things that i've done i really love the fact that i kind of documented my whole journey because on days when i feel kind of like i haven't done anything you know i feel i just i feel low you know i can have a look at all the blog posts and they always cheer me up because i can see at least i'm heading in the right direction and it feels really good if you have a look at my first hello world, it's actually one of my blog posts, one of the, the my very very first attempt at programming is actually on my blog. And um, that is so cool because you can really read how happy I was, how how amazing it felt and now I'm of course doing more more way more complex stuff and it's important for me I never ever ever forget that feeling uh, when I did my first hello world. So blog posts like that are really valuable for other new developers, but also for senior developers. Because I go and I search the internet, try to find blog posts that kind of that blogs that inspire me. Sometimes I look for information, uh, sometimes I look for inspiration, and sometimes I just want to have a laugh. So different types of blogs, and there is something to blog about for everybody. Which leads me to the first question: Should you blog or not? I would say blog if you love writing. Uh, if you can be consistent and like you don't have to do it every day or every week some of the big best blogs I know they only write like maybe once a month or three times a year but it's like really good articles but just make sure that you know you have time and capacity for it and the energy and also write something about something you're passionate about don't try to make something up like uh, or try to be pretend like you're somebody else or write in a certain style because people are always gonna see through that and it's not gonna it's not gonna work out for you and don't blog just blog I kind of really doubt that uh, it will increase the likelihood of getting a job if you have a blog that you're not passionate about uh, there are probably better ways to invest your extra energy and time if you have that maybe an open source project maybe user groups maybe well there are so many things to do and while blogging are for some people it's not for everybody and although it's very trendy and has been that for a couple of years don't feel pressured into doing something just because it seems like everybody's doing it it's not for everybody and only you know what works for you you might want to try just starting off like really easy with maybe WordPress or Tumblr or or hey if you don't have Twitter start off with that and see how it feels to have kind of that pressure of having to do something all the time and just take it from there so that's the best advice I can give I'm just basing that off my, my own experience and how it's been for me and I'm freezing <laughs> I'm freezing to death. It's only like three or four degrees Celsius and I'm definitely not dressed for it. I thought it was gonna be kind of spring weather today, but it's so cold. So I'm going to end the video now because my nose is red and the car just locked itself. Oh, I touched the button. Wait. Okay, I just locked myself out of the car. I'm gonna end the video here, okay? <laughs> my butt locked the door. I literally locked the door of the car with my butt. That is so cool. Right, okay. <laughs> I completely lost it. Squirrel, okay, goodbye.